is this contour looking like ass? What's happening? Hey guys, how's it going? It's Alice. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kat Von D. <laughs> Today I'm going to be trying out some new makeup from Stellar Beauty and kind of creating this like dark neutral moon child moment. Unintentionally ended up kind of looking like trying to be Kat Von D not mad at it but it was unintentional i'm super matchy matchy today look at my nails we're in the Moonchild set from lb nail artist i'll link them below like how perfect is that and then the backdrop it kind of looks like we're in outer space my shirt says Moonchild on it it's from black craft cult and yeah we're gonna test out stellar beauty so it's gonna be kind of a mishmash of a wear test tutorial and yeah wear testing tutorial let's do it got a couple things from stellar beauty foundation concealer a lip product and then these two face palettes here when i sat down to film this i i was gonna use i had a stellar eyeshadow palette or at least i thought i had it i think i gave it to jenny so i don't have that here with me but um we're gonna make it work all right so we've got the stellar limitless foundation i have the shade l01 and this is 38 dollars on sephora.com it says here it's a radiant finish l01 is fair with a pink undertone which i'm thinking i think that that sounds like me lately i've been watching my videos and my face is freaking yellow and my body is like pink so hopefully hopefully i picked the right shade this time it's got about four star rating on sephora natural looking medium coverage foundation that builds to a full satin finish in 35 shades for all skin tones so medium coverage i'm excited love the packaging it's uh plastic but it looks very sleek and nice oh you know what i need to i need to put on some primer the only primer in existence that i deem worthy of even being near my face is the milk hydro grip primer and i've been doing a lot of foundation reviews and wear tests lately you should be able to go through by the time like this one's up you should be able to kind of go through and see a couple other ones where i don't use this primer and i don't know man this stuff just makes it last so long for me all right let's jump into the foundation so i'm gonna apply with a brush and then maybe smooth it around with a sponge that's just how i apply my foundation oh my god you guys i'm becoming this like matchy matchy like i'm not even trying anymore totally forgot that i had these brushes these are available at cadavercult.com as well my boutique how freaking cute and it literally matches the back i can't anymore i love matchy matchy shit <laughs> Is it cute or is it annoying? So we've got a pumpy, squeezy top here. A pump, as some would call it. Ooh, she's uh, nice and liquidy. Oh, I'm like, what is that sound? It's the brush. This looks really light. Sounds like I'm doing my makeup with maracas. So yeah, you can already tell already that it is, it's, it's more of a buildable coverage. It almost looks like it's like light coverage. I mean, it's like a hydrating formula, pretty thin. And so it is not looking good with the brush, but I'm just gonna keep spreading it around and then we'll smooth out all of the brush strokes with the sponge. Yeah, it almost like has a tinted moisturizer quality to it. I definitely, I'm just gonna switch to the sponge right now cause this is not a brush foundation. We're definitely gonna need a little bit more on here. This is like not enough coverage for me. Yeah, I might even just, I'd skip the brush altogether with this. This is not a brush foundation. I'm trying to get it in on the side of my nose there and it just does not does not want to blend in there all right i think it's looking pretty good right now it is it's kind of settled down a little bit it's still kind of sticky 
but it looks pretty dewy. It's definitely like a medium buildable coverage. I feel like I could build it up and get more, but I don't want to do that and risk look making it look too cakey. If it's a medium coverage foundation, I want to test it as a medium coverage foundation and not like try to make it full coverage. All right, so the Stellar Limitless Concealer. It is $27. It looks like such a tiny little tube. Point 20 fluid ounces so six milliliters i forgot to say how much the foundation is 1.01 fluid ounces so 30 milliliters um so yeah 27 dollars for that that is uh that, that seems pretty pricey it's a radiant finish it has a little over four stars on sephora.com i have light with pink undertones deeds 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 where are the deeds an advanced concealer that hides imperfections and leaves skin looking radiant is it me or does the foundation look like it's lighter than the concealer what the frick blends really easily really beautifully it certainly feels like it's not a really dry matte formula so gosh i just I have this problem with creamy moisturizing almost like lotiony foundations when I do my highlight uh, or when I do the concealer I swipe the doe foot onto the area that I want the concealer like my chin right there or like I did some right there forehead and then I go to blend really up close the camera probably isn't gonna be able to pick this up but it's like the doe foot swiped away a little bit of the foundation and it leaves like some negative space right there not crazy about that. Need to set these under eyes because the the concealer is like so moist that it's creasing. For the rest of my face, I'm just gonna lightly dust some no color powder all over. Honestly, my face can get pretty oily, so any sort of moisturizing foundation definitely needs to be set. I'm just I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna lie y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not loving how this is looking. I'm just more of like a full coverage gal, I don't know. Somehow it's, it's looking cakey but not coverage enough, like look at my nose. I feel like that doe foot applicator just like swiped some of the foundation away and just like, that's just so weird. So next we are going to try out the Stellar Face Sculptor and Highlighting Palette. Uh, this is $37. So everything on Sephora just says radiant finish. <laughs> Why? Anyway, it's got pretty high ratings, like 4.6 out of 5. A portable, easy-to-use contour and highlighting palette with three shades that can be worn alone or layered onto the face and eyes to enhance features. There we've got the shades. Oh, look at those highlight shades, beautiful. The contour is straight up orange. That is an orange, that's orange. So I think it would definitely go better with somebody who wants to have more of a bronzery contour. I can't use that, I can't. I've been testing out this e.l.f. contour palette. Is it me or is this contour looking like ass? What's happening? <sighs> What's going on? It looks like I just I'm like that with <laughs> been having the worst like few weeks, days, just kinda seems like everything happening in the month of July is total fucking crap, including this makeup look right now. Like, every day I wake up and there's like some other bad news or some sh some complication, something happening. Never had contour. Any contour product blend so horribly on my skin. It's weird because I tested this, this stuff out already, but I'm in shock. Okay, so we need to clean up some of this messy ass contour. I'm gonna dip into some translucent powder with this flat brush from the ear all the way to the mouth and then swipe down hopefully that'll fix this a little bit I'm just gonna do some eyeshadow really quick while I think about what I've done let's use the bronzer for eyeshadow that seems fun Bronzer and contour shades make great transition shades. So if you have some that are too dark for you, 
they're usually bomb transitions really soft powders i remember specifically actually really liking the stellar beauty eyeshadow palette when i had it the, their eyeshadows are really pigmented pretty powdery but like really soft and easy to blend before i started doing youtube and instagram makeup and kind of like crazy looks my everyday makeup look would just be my contour shade in my crease and around my eye like this darkening up the crease in the outer corner with these shades right here all right this is the supernova Hi supernova highlighting palette $37 so I got this because the colors look amazing I love pink highlighters um, here's some swatches they're really chunky glitter they're beautiful but like pretty much just chunky glitter so I don't know if I want to use that on my face Maybe I will, but I think what I want to do is pop it on my lid. So let's dip into this one right here. Basically a gold. It looks like it's going to be a pink, but I'm just seeing gold. But that's cool. I kind of wanted a neutral look anyway, so I'm... I'm generously dipping in it's definitely really glittery and like fluttery taking my Marin mixing medium here and getting a little bit on my hand because I'm too lazy to find a palette and then just kind of mixing it turning it into a liquid oh, okay I see it it's kind of like a rose gold just kind of brush that all over the lid we're just gonna do like a simple glossy moment once you've kind of got that liquidy base layer then i like to dip into the um dip back into the product with the brush and kind of get some dry pieces of it just to pop on what do we think y'all i think it's it's cute it's subtle all right guys i just needed more of like a chunky glitter look nothing wrong with how this is looking but I wanted those big chunks of glitter. So I'm using one of my favorite items of all time. This is by Profusion. They're a drugstore brand available in Target. And this is their sparkling eye topper. So they figured out how to copy Stila, I think, with this one. And I use this, I've used this on many different shades of eyeshadow, reds, bronze, and it always looks freaking bomb. It gives you that big chunky glitter look without actually having to mess around with a loose glitter or glitter glue. I freaking love it. All right, so next up, uh, I'm gonna use another one of my favorite products of all time. This is the Laura Mercier Caviar Eyeshadow Stick in Smoke. And we're just gonna gently pop a little bit at the very base of our lashes. Don't go all the way across because it's kind of like a round dome. It's really hard to get in there in the inner corner. A little bit on the top and bottom. Just blend by kind of flicking up and out. And since that's like a kind of a cream product, I don't like to bring it out too much into the outer corner. Uh, I'd rather use like a powder. It's easier to blend. So let's dip into a black. Ever since discovering that I can just put a few drops of Duraline into my freaking four-year-old gel pot liner from ColourPop that's probably definitely expired, but I don't care. Um, I just pop some in there and then draw it on with a tiny brush. It is the best, you guys. It doesn't tickle, it doesn't hurt. I don't even feel this right now. So we've got the waterline color. I'm sorry, you guys. This this tutorial is going to be really scattered because I keep having to like talk on the phone. I'm gonna do a line across my lid with the Urban Decay Perversion eyeliner. So it's going to be really thin in the inner corner and then just a little bit thicker towards the outer edge. But we're not doing like a full wing. 
This is just to add some darkness at the very base of the lash line, like perfect like dark matte goodness. And then for little stars that I'm not sure if I like because now I'm just looking like a Kat Von D wannabe. Um, I also used the Perversion Fine Fine Point Eye Pen. It's pretty tricky, not gonna lie. Practice on your hand like I did, kids. I love this eyeliner pen though. You can get the tiniest little like pinprick dots. I think that Urban Decay should come out with one of these like for freckles. Do we love it or do we hate it? I don't even know. Next, once the eyeliner on the lash line is dry, you're gonna dip into a little black with a fluffy brush and really carefully, lightly just blend. so that it kind of fades into the smokiness. I need more glitter. I've been adding so much black that I need to add some more glitter on the lid. LA Splash eyeliner, glitter eyeliner coming in. They're not the best for creating like a, a wing of glitter, but for just adding some strategic pieces of glitter, it's my favorite. Oh, there's chunks of bigger glitter in here too. Perfect, flawless. Oh my god. I'm usually not like a gold kind of bitch, but today I am. What do we think, y'all? Too bad you're not live here with me to tell me if this is turning into a train wreck or not. I'm gonna wipe away that bake. Did it help the contour a little bit? I hope so gonna spritz my face with some setting spray just to melt everything back in. Saw uh, Jackie Ina talking about doing setting spray before your mascara because it, the setting spray can like maybe make the mascara drip down your face. So that's what I'm trying right now. Oh and she also pats it in. Just so nervous about making this foundation look worse than it already kind of is. Dude, I just figured out a pro tip. If your foundation has a little lid, you can rest your beauty blender on it. Mm. While my face is kind of moist from the setting spray, let's highlight. Oof. Since we're uh, doing gold today, we'll dip into the gold one. Or I wonder if I should have done the stars after highlight. Mm. Oh, that's really pretty. I forgot how easy it is to highlight with a fan brush. It really puts the, the highlight down exactly where it needs to be in the most flattering, like, shape. Ooh, bitch, I'm glowing. Looking at the monitor, my, my, my body still looks more pink than my face. I gotta try it. I gotta try the, the rose gold one. I got to. I'm like looking at this like it's a mirror. Mm, it's pretty, but it's really just like fluttering away. Should we get crazy and just try to put the pink one on my cheeks? It is just not sticking to this face. Maybe I put on, t you can kind of see it, but it's too many things. I'm putting too many things. I need some actual blush though, because I'm, I'm looking kind of dead. I'm just mixing all of these. I want a little youthful look, so I'm putting a little bit of the blush across my face. So, lesson learned, definitely do the stars and all of the little bits and bobs after highlight and blush and everything. I'm just going to pop brows on really quick because this tutorial is already 2,000 years long. going to pop on some mascara and lashes really quick because I am just dragging ass in this tutorial. I'm going to do Urban Decay Perversion Waterproof Mascara. I 
Are you freaking kidding me? I'm cutting that lash. That lash is sabotaging my life. Well, I'm gonna let the freaking mascara dry and move on to lips right now and then I'll do lashes last. So this is Stellar Opus Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mythic Moon, number 01. And it looks absolutely freaking gorgeous. I can't wait. Oh my god. For lashes, I have just been really obsessed with these ones from Kadabra. They are number 10. You can just search on there, 010, and you'll find this lash. I've been, I've been stuck on it, and even though there's like some lash glue kind of got stuck to the end of one of them and looks a little spiky, um, they're just freaking beautiful. Here's the finished look. This lip color is everything that I've ever wanted in my entire life. It is so comfortable. I don't think it's completely dried down. Yeah, no, it's like, it's definitely not transfer proof. I don't know if it, it's advertised to be transfer proof, but it looks like a beautiful matte and it is so comfortable. I'm literally obsessed. It doesn't feel the tiniest bit dry and it looks like it's a liquid matte like but it's not dry or flaky or gross anyway i haven't been this happy with a makeup look in a while i'm absolutely loving this neutral dark moon child moment I'm, i look like a little mini kat von d not mad about it unintentional but not mad about it <laughs> so the foundation it's been two or three hours i've been sitting here for a really long time it's been the longest filming session ever I, I like how it looks now that I've got like my full face on but I don't know man it looks really weird around like my mouth and my little smile lines I don't know if I needed to set that area a little bit more the concealer it's actually looking pretty good even though it felt really dry when the powder was sitting on there baking for a little bit but now it's like locked in place doesn't look dry doesn't look like it's separating it doesn't look cakey it looks bomb uh, but yeah i'm just gonna wear this for a little while longer i'll do some check-ins with you guys along the way and we'll go from there Pierre, mm -hmm. what do you think my makeup <laughs> Hang on, it's great star shine <laughs> lunch time <laughs> Oh my God. We're eating at Garrett's desk so we can watch hot ones. We're eating very healthy lunch because later we're probably going to eat junk food. Yes. Okay, so the liquid lipstick is not transfer proof. Got on my chin. Yeah, hey, Muffin, what do you think of my makeup? Well, I think it's great now. Uh, for the most part, the, the lipstick actually looks pretty good other than just getting on my chin right there. Hey you guys, we're at like the six hour mark and we've got a little bit of sunshine happening, a little bit of golden hour. It's crazy how good lighting can make bad foundation <laughs> look okay. This foundation, you guys, I don't know what it's doing, but around my mouth, forehead like is looking great. Under eyes, this concealer, I'm, I'm actually really into it. But the foundation for some reason like around my mouth is really weird. China tree. Hey guys, we're on our daily walk. I look like I work at McDonald's. Nothing wrong with that, but the visor and we like fries with that. Sure. <laughs> so we'll see if I the foundation. Like I'm talking. Talk <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We're gonna see if the foundation can survive my visor and this, the sunglasses. But um, yeah, extra large fries with that. Please, stat. Here. What? Speed boost. <laughs> Speed boost me. Wee. <laughs> I'm gonna freaking have a heart attack from laughing. Sunglasses are covered in foundation. It's not looking good, folks. 
So the foundation did not survive the sunglasses. Oh, just blending it around with a little stippling brush works well though. Under eyes still looking flawless. Forehead, yeah, the visor really didn't affect it at all. Looking great, feeling great. Final check-in after 10 hours. I cannot, I cannot believe how bad it looks around my mouth area. Why am I whispering? It looks so bad around my mouth. Um, I don't know, don't know why, don't understand. Don't like looking at it. Um, it's like gone on my chin. Uh, other than that, I mean, I think the concealer is bomb. I would try the concealer if I were you. It's actually great. If there's a shade that matches you, I would check that out. Personally, the foundation isn't for me. I think it, I mean, it looks okay on my forehead. Maybe I'll try it again in, in a future like tutorial or get ready with me, but just around here it looks so weird. And even with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, like, not super impressed. It is 1000 degrees and I'm gonna go. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know if you like the little extra like vloggy bits. I just feel like makeup tutorials can be so boring and I want to film other aspects of my life. Anyway, thanks for watching. I love you. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.